This is the adult western bean cutworm. The adult is a moth and oftentimes it's found resting in the whirl of the plant or possibly in the leaf sheath next to the stalk such as this moth right here. The most diagnostic characteristics of this moth are the white stripes that run down the leading edge of the wings, the white spots about halfway down the wing, and then the kidney shaped structure that is found about three quarters of the way down the wing. The adult western bean cutworm usually lays her eggs on the upper surface of the upper leaf. The eggs are always laid in a mass, and a mass consists usually of 15 to 50 eggs. As you're scouting for this insect, a lot, or scouting for the eggs of this insect, many times you can observe the eggs from the lower surface of the leaf as the sun shines through the upper surface, such as this egg mass here. When the leaf is turned over, we can observe the eggs in this egg mass. Now the eggs, freshly laid eggs, will be creamy white, such as the eggs in this mass. So this egg mass is probably not much more than a few hours old. Over time, egg masses of the western bean cutworm will go or will change from the creamy white color to a brownish or tannish color and finally to purple to black coloration just before the larvae hatch. As, this, as you can see with this egg mass, it is, most of the eggs in this mass are purple, so these larvae will probably emerge somewhere over the next 24 hours. Here's an example of a western bean cutworm egg mass laid on the underside of a leaf. As you can tell, the egg mass is that creamy white color, suggesting that this mass is only a few hours old.